Where are you from? We are from from the UK, but UK we live in Singapore. Originally. Yeah. When did you come to Japan? We arrived ten days ago. Friday third, we yeah. arrived, and we went to Niseko did. for one for five days, six days. Six days, and then the three travel. days in Tokyo. Yes. Yeah. This is our last day in Tokyo. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Could you give me a few more details about what you did in Japan? We went skiing. We did skiing. We ate a lot, <laughs> drank a little bit. And then we've been playing tourist for three days. Yeah. We have seen the sights, we have seen the museum. We did we the museum. Seen, and now we're in the park on the way to the temple. Yeah. The temple, the shrine. Your Yogi Park and the Me Me Meiji Shrine? The Meiji Shrine. Yes. That's yes. what was it. Did you buy any souvenirs for your friends or family? Not yet, actually. No. Have we bought souvenirs? No. We looked at fridge magnets yep. in the museum, but we didn't buy any fridge magnets in the yeah. end. We just packed our suitcase and it is full. It is, so there is not much room for souvenirs, no, unfortunately. No more shopping. No more shopping. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything that surprised you in Japan? Ooh. Good question. Surprises. We, was, we were just saying now, we thought Tokyo, we've never been to Tokyo before. I thought Tokyo would be more compact. But actually, it's it's been really nice to walk around, and the air is so clean, and everyone is so friendly. And quiet. And quiet, it's yeah. Surprisingly quiet for a big city with lots of transport. I thought it'd be much yeah. louder, but that was I think that was the big surprise. I've been very um, pleasantly surprised by Tokyo. And language barrier. I was surprised in Tokyo. We've not really struggled. Gochisu <laughs> sama. Dishita. Gochisu sama dishita. Deshi, isn't it? Yeah, which has helped us a lot. Yeah. But I think the language barrier hasn't been very big at all. No. Which, is, which has actually been very it's nice and relaxing. Thing but it's very difficult to learn Japanese in a week. Oh, the metro! That's been great. The metro line is super. Do you feel that the prices in Japan are cheap? If so, how much cheaper are they compared to Singapore? Oh, Ooh, one. so everyone said to us Tokyo is expensive. Food prices, cheaper. Food has been great. Food has been much cheaper and it's been very nice. Yeah, but the transport has been more expensive. Transport's slightly more expensive and I think on the whole alcohol is a little cheaper, a yeah. little bit. But some restaurants yeah. charge you about the same as Singapore. We've been to London, we've been to Hong Kong, those are expensive. I find even, even coming from Singapore, mm -hmm. those places are expensive. Whereas Tokyo I found much Actually, more affordable. Metro is about on par with London. I find it's like the same price yeah, as, about London. The same as London. Yeah, between two to seven pounds or dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Mm. Do you have any interesting episodes from your trip? Mm. Interesting episodes. Yesterday, we took the go-karts and oh, we did yeah. a tour for one hour, dressed up, and we stopped at Shibuya Crossing yeah. and we became a little bit famous, <laughs> dressed up. Dressed as Pikachu, you were Charmander. Yeah. How did you two meet? We met in Singapore a year ago. It was a year ago. Today. Today. <laughs> today. <laughs> today. Yeah. Um, and we met on one of the apps, which one was it? Hinge. Hinge, yeah. Hinge app. Yeah. We are the digital age now, so this is acceptable. Yeah, so, so you, we, don't, you we... don't meet people in bars anymore <laughs> or no. restaurants. <laughs> it's all apps now. <laughs> So we met, yeah, about just over a year ago, started talking, and yeah. then agreed to go and meet for a drink. We did. On a Sunday afternoon. It's a nice warm Sunday afternoon yeah. in Singapore. Yeah, very. <laughs> very warm. I was sunburnt. Yeah. You, you were sweaty from the gym. Of course. <laughs> what was your first impression of each other? I thought you, I did think you were very good looking. Oh. You're very tall and blonde, wearing a nice dress. So I was like, this is, uh, yeah, I did think you were very good looking. And then we started talking, and I was like, okay, you are just intelligent. You were very receptive to the conversation, even though you were very hungover. I was quite hungover. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, you're really funny and really easy to talk to. Mm. And this is despite being hungover, I really, really enjoyed the afternoon. It was just nice and yeah. comfortable and, yeah, and intelligent and funny. I enjoyed it. Oh, doggy. <laughs> That's a nice story. So, how did you start dating? So, after the first date, I think we had continued talking, mm. and I suggested you pick the first place, I pick the second place. Mm. So we went on dates, had some drinks. And then the third one, I knew he liked cars. Yes. He really likes cars, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna, and he likes beer, so I found a beer. It's a microbrewery, beer place. On a really busy junction in Singapore. Where all so the nice every, cars go past. Yes, yeah, so every time we're talking, he's like, yeah. Did you hear that? Did you see that car? I knew he, he used to go running past where I lived. I messaged him going, oh, I know you'll run past this way. I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to make too much, though. Do you want to come for dinner? So he came for dinner and then never left. <laughs> Pretty he much. basically moved in. Anything for a free meal. <laughs> How did you propose? 
two months ago, just between Christmas and New Year. Yeah. We went back to the UK to visit family, meet everybody. Yeah. Um, we'd driven up from London up to Scotland and we were in a hotel room um, in a hunting lodge in Scotland. It was quiet, it was very nice, it was a cold evening and it was late after dinner and uh, we were in the hotel room, just quiet, intimate. I asked you to look outside, I turned around, got the ring yeah. ready and then asked you, asked you, uh, <laughs> Yeah, he told me to look question. out the window, and I was like, why? It's dark. He's like, no, no, look out the window. Yeah. So I looked out the window, I was like, there's nothing there, and I turned around and he was yeah, on one knee. Nice. It was lovely. It was nice. And we had some wine. We did, we stayed up late, we were talking, had some wine. Yeah. This, this is Eikawa! This is Eikawa! If you want to learn more about the Eikawa in the long term, you can learn more about the Eikawa in the long term. The Eikawa in the long term is the one that you can learn more about. アメリカ人約150人の生の英会を紹介しています。概要欄に紹介していますので、ぜひ見てください。それでは次回をお楽しみに。